very careful and aware of what's going shit, on. Shit, so is podcasts and so is YouTube. Shit, all this shit, All bro. this shit's treacherous. Man. I the, thought this shit was finna be chill. I entertain your <laughs> business you thought, in general. Yeah. Nah, you'll be chill if you were somewhere other than No Jumper, nigga. Yeah, but this shit is reality TV. Man. Not, but the cold part is, <laughs> no you, cap. you might be chill if you somewhere else, but on No Jumper, you're gonna get way more people watching and giving a fuck. Like that's a that's a built in audience to play off of. So you know, oh, it's a, yeah, it's a I take. ain't I ain't saying nothing bad about this motherfucking nigga. This is where we eating at. I'm just saying, like, nigga, this is no, a one of a right. kind. Shit, place. I will. This is a one of a kind <laughs> play. The real. fuck, you feel me? I got a man. Listen, niggas gotta come in here, man. Yell at niggas all day, every day. But I feel like you know. It is what it is. It's getting, you know what I'm saying? Long as niggas know what time it is. Yeah. Josh over there, like, I don't want to hear it today. Yeah, Josh is Josh is looking <laughs> straight forward. No eye contact. You can see like, it. Not ah, today. his skin <laughs> color Josh, is fuck. changing. Josh be getting get tired of this shit. He's like, how do we get here? Fuck. Josh be getting tired. I know, <laughs> I know he tired of it because I be getting tired of the shit. You know what I'm saying? If only someone had predicted this like a year and a half ago. You did? <laughs> Right. What, what'd you say? What'd you say? Oh, he been saying this shit. What'd you, I, I wasn't here, so what'd you say? That the infighting, the airing each other out on air versus having conversations off air was going to be the downfall. Yes. Yeah. How did you know back then? Because it wasn't even like that back then. No, it? we started, it, it was like that. Yes, like the very early days of AD being here on the No Jumper show. She was the, bad. At the end of the day, especially, like there were just these, they were there was, yeah. seemed to be more conflict than there ever was before. I think it was mm. worse then than it is now. So AD, it was. AD brought crazy. the conflict? Is that what he's saying? How could it be worse than uh, now? Because it, no, there was, it was more bad, bro. There's no way it was worse than no, now. No, it was a lot, no. bro. It was a new... The early days of me coming place. here, bro, it was ridiculous. That's worse crazy. than now. That's yeah. crazy. It, uh, now it's getting up there, but it was, it was... It's a lot of shit that y'all don't know. Definitely. The thing is this, though. Like, I recall... I want to say back in October or some shit, there is apparently a precedent set. We, we're not going to discuss in-house drama on air yeah. anymore. And then literally that same motherfucking day, in-house drama was discussed. Man. Like somebody up top got to sl- cut that. And I you can, feel me? And, and I can say... And I can say... Around, just press the red button anytime yeah. people get to talk to I can say shit. where I've been at fault about that shit too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know... Causing things and doing certain shit, you know, not trying to be maliciously, but yeah, nigga, I can I can sit there and take the blame for certain shit too. But the earlier day, bro, I'm telling you, like this shit was ridiculous. Like I I didn't know. It was a couple of times where I was like, I don't think I'm gonna fucking want to be here this long because it's it was a lot. It was a lot going on. Do you feel like also nowadays, like the fact that there's the clips channel where so much of that those actual interactions and discussions have like a house to, to to just you feel me i mean i just feel like we we shed light on a lot of the bullshit you feel me like we opened the doors for a lot and everybody has a part to play in that shit and you know even like with this house phone situation we got to have some type of camaraderie at the end of the day i'm not happy about that situation at all i don't fuck with how that shit was done you feel me I'm not sitting there going to sit here and act like it's all cool. I'm not fucking with that shit 100%. You feel me? Because situations like that that happen, nigga, nothing like that needs to happen again. I ain't fucking. If this something like that happens again, fuck this plot. Fuck no jumper. I'm not fucking with this shit, bro. Shit yeah. like this, nigga, it ain't cool. So when it comes down to how everything is and how it's wrapped in here now, like, we got to show. We can joke around on streams. We can sit there and say shit. But nobody in this building should try to do things to maliciously fuck with anybody on here. I don't give a fuck if I hate Lush guts. If I'm talking to this nigga and if I feel like I could be on camera with you, nigga, and I don't hate you by the way. Yeah, no, I'm just saying I'm so. using you as an example. Yeah. If I'm if I'm using you, if I'm sitting here next to you and shit like that, bro, I gotta have some type of respect for you because when situations like this happen, all we do is tell the world that we can be picked on, we can be picked apart. Our company look weak as a motherfucker. You feel me? From the top all the way to the bottom. I don't give a fuck who it is. Straight up. Adam, Josh, nigga, AD, house, whoever the fuck it is, bro. We got to have some type of respect for each other. We ain't got to like each other, but if we going to sit there and do this shit, bro, like this shit weak. Situations like what happened to house phone never need to happen again. Certain situations outside of shit never need to happen again. 
And that should be a testament of how we should move going forward. Because this shit is all fucked up. And I think really what it comes down to is leadership. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, nigga, it take nigga Adam first because Adam is the fucking boss of this shit. He got to hold this shit down the right way. But that shit needs to trickle this motherfucker down. Everybody needs to take heed to how shit's supposed to be. We, we got to have love for each other, bro. I can honestly say I come in here and I'll be like, you know what? I fuck with him. I fuck with him. Yeah, we may get into it and a certain shit when it comes down to that. But at the end of the day, bro, like we have to fuck with each other to some type. Because why, why are we being on camera with each other? Right. If I don't like you, I'm going to say I'm not filming with Lush. I'm not filming with Almighty. I'm not filming with this person. I'm not filming with this person. If that's the case, why the fuck am I even here? Right. You get what I'm saying? So unless... All that kumbaya shit, and let's be fake, and let's just get on camera and get a bag. I'm not with that shit, bro. Especially, I'm not. It's, it's super niggas weird. Niggas don't like it. niggas, and niggas don't fuck with each other, man. Let that shit be known. Nigga, let's handle this shit the old way. No cameras. Y'all niggas get that shit out of your system. Let's get back to it. And if you can't sit there and get back to it, get the fuck on. We started, we ended last year, like the Christmas party. Everybody, I felt like there was a great vibe. Mm -hmm. And it, I don't know what the fuck happened between... December 23rd and January 2nd, but I think personally it's everybody like this camera can be fucking the devil. It could be addictive. People can see how comments, Reddit, everything can sway people's opinions to do extra shit. You know what I'm saying? And like nigga to everybody else watching this shit. Yeah, this is entertainment for y'all, but this is people's real lives and shit. You know what I'm saying? This is real fucking life. Like, people got to go home. When you say certain shit to certain people, they got to read that shit. This, they got to go back home and, and just deal with everything and then come back over here and shit, too. Or somebody can DM Lush and be like, oh, Lush, you a bitch-ass nigga. And then he feel like he got to talk for a week about the situation because he... Don't, I'm like, nigga, this shit is getting out of hand now. And if we don't uh, shed light on certain situations, yeah, we could joke, we could do all type of shit like that. But for the most part, bro... All of this shit needs to be it needs to be way more tighter than what it is. If not, this company gonna burn to the fucking ground. I'm not gonna be here to watch this shit burn to the ground. And I might be the one doing the burning. No, I feel you. And I'm definitely to echo your sentiments, I'm not happy with what happened to House Phone. Like I said on the news stream with Adam the other day, that footage should have never come out. Even beyond there, then like it should have never even been filmed because the fact that you got um you know, people in the room hearing that, like that's being said in front of Danny Mullen, that's being said in front of the editing staff. That, that that's weak. That that had to happen. You know what I mean? How and but beyond that, we just need to keep that same energy across the board because what happened with me and Flacco before that wasn't cool. There's so many other things. But see, even cool. even the Flacco situation, and you know, I told you that I felt like you took it worse than anybody else. You know For what I'm sure. saying? Cause I and it's not you, it's nigga. You're letting outside influence make it seem like you have to respond to everything when you don't. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't have to do the extra shit. And I tell you, I'm like, look, stay off the fucking Reddit, stay out of them fucking comments, bro. If you can't mentally take this shit and see what's going on, bro, like you was talking about, you was on the verge to relapsing. I'm like, nigga, none of this camera shit and doing this shit for this paycheck, my nigga, is worth you, nigga, working this hard to get from where you came from, bro, to even get back to you thinking about relapsing, nigga. That shit's weak as fuck. Well, like you said, that shit, that shit affects our real lives outside of here. You know what I mean? And when you're hearing about it from the people back home and all that, and like... It's it, that the dynamic changes, and even if you do unplug from the matrix, which I had to do and kind of recalibrate my entire approach, it's still it, it becomes something too much. We need to be, uh, we need to protect each other. But Lush, point. you're in position, right? So who gives a fuck what nobody else say? I told Almighty the same shit. Yeah, you can't fight I don't everybody. Be giving a fuck. I don't be giving a you fuck. You can't bro. fight. You can't fight everybody. Nigga, 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 come on YouTube right now. Oh, you this, you this, and you that. Niggas nigga, can say whatever they it's want. It's different when you in 3D. It's different when you face to face, cause I've yet to see niggas really, really in 3D, really talk about what they've been saying on the internet and, and see what time it is when it's when it's in your face, nigga. I only reply to on. niggas when I know them. If I don't know you, you could say what the fuck you want to say about me. I don't give a fuck on what website it is, if it's on the internet, if it's on YouTube, Reddit. I don't give a fuck. A nigga can say whatever the fuck they want. That shit don't really bother me, but niggas. Maybe it's, it's because, nigga, I've grown up in the social media world where I don't even really remember what it was like before a phone. Like, nigga, I had a phone my whole life. Nigga, I had a fucking Instagram since I was, like, 13. Nigga, people has always been able to say whatever they want about me since I can remember. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a little... It's, it's, 
it's regular to me. Like, it's just a part of nigga living to me. Nigga, I have I, I have Facebook before, nigga, Instagram since, like, fucking 2010, and niggas can say what the fuck they want about you. You no, feel me? So, like, and I, that's that shit facts. just, like, in my blood already. Like, nigga, people going to say what they want, bro. Now it's just on a bigger, you know what I'm saying, just on, on a bigger stage because now I'm a part of some shit with fucking five, four million subscribers. So, But it's just the same shit. Like, niggas been saying whatever the fuck they wanted to say about me on social media since you could remember because, nigga, that's all I've known. So it's like, that shit is regular to me. That shit don't bother me. No, and, and I feel that, and I've been, you know, I've been on the on internet communities and online and somewhat in the public eye since 2004 or 2005. The difference is this just happened, like, for me, this was like a really, like a big transitional time in my life, so it kind of hit a little bit different, you feel me? And I had, like, leaned into that a little bit too much, so I, like I said, I had to recalibrate and just find some things in my life that are exciting outside of all this shit. And once I've been trying to do that, it's it's kind of changed as to where it doesn't have the same effect on me. But at the end of the day, I, st I stand by what I say as far as we need to, if we're, we ain't got to be best friends, but we do need to at least protect each other from certain things that are going to affect our lives outside of here. And it ain't, it's one thing to who ride and, and make fun of each other. We could do that till we're blue in the face. Uh, but at a certain point, you know, we gotta we gotta know when to draw the line and like certain levels of uh public humiliation, like what phone had to endure, that's just not cool. Yeah, his life has changed forever now. Yeah, that's no matter what. Definitely fucked up. It ain't he can't never go back to being who the fuck he was. You feel me? People are always, especially in our community, they're gonna joke on him, mm -hmm. they're gonna do our certain type of shit. And there ain't nothing that you just gloss over when it comes down to that. That should never happen again to nobody in this fucking building. And I think it was dope the you know, that that Illa is sticking with him and thugging it out through that situation. That That's good to see. His that, girl Cheeks. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that she's rocking with him through all that. Because I was concerned, like, damn, is this going to end their relationship? You feel me? Like, because yeah, I was thinking, like, the same way, like, you feel me? Because it's, like, it's different for us because, like, we already been in the spotlight for a while. All of us was doing something before we was on camera. But it's, like, for her, like, when you an average person dealing with some shit like that is hard. But then when, like, you attached to... She was probably just, like, nigga, like a regular person, like, a couple months ago b before she got on your get podcast. On, get on camera. So she's still even getting used to people talking about her, like, on a large scale. So for that to get through on them, like, you feel me? I said it, like, when I was on the phone with one of my boys, like, she a real bitch to be able to deal with that, you feel me? Because it's already hard to just deal with being in the spotlight just regularly. Mm -hmm. You feel me? there for... For you to just be in a spotlight a few months and then for that to get through on you a couple months after and to still be with the nigga, hey, that's a real bitch to me. I you respect her, She kept her too. it solid. Yeah. She, 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 she was 10 toes. I, I wasn't sure how that was going to play out. You know what I mean? But so it's, it's cool that she, that it makes me think that hopefully that they're going to be with each other for a while. And I'm know. sure that helped him get through this shit a lot too. Uh, I've been talking to phone every day yeah. throughout this whole thing. Bro, I've been playing bro, I've been close. Yeah. Bro's handling this shit really well. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I know uh, that's not what Josh wanted to hear on his birthday. <laughs> you don't want to. Josh be tired of all this shit. I, every time, I already know. Well, if, if, if it's any consolation, Josh, you were right. It's not. <laughs> but thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's not all right. It's not all right. I mean, the fact that it's been over a year and a half of this bullshit where, like, I have worn all of this stress and, like, I've, yeah. had, to, I've had to weigh all of this shit that was inevitably going to happen. And it has happened. This isn't the first time. And mm. it's like the fact that this, you know, this is a different severity and it hits a little bit different. But, like, this type of shit has been happening and it's been an issue. To gloss over it and pretend that, like, now we need to be strong as a unit. Now we need to be protecting one another. Where's that energy been for the last, you know, year and a half? Like, I've, I'm so tired of it. Like, what else can I do about it? Well, at what point does, does there have to be a change is the question. When are there going to be consequences for people's actions? Bingo. It's a good question. Yeah, I bet you if niggas get the threat of, of being fired, niggas are minding their business around this motherfucker. Guarantee you. I just want to talk about hip hop shit and tell funny stories and things like that. I don't really care about all this other shit personally. Facts. I think that's why most of the people came here. 
Like that's, literally, that's True. why the audience came here, and that's what they wanted to hear about. That's why the host came here. That's what they wanted to do. That's like, this is a common ground that everyone wants to get back to. 